from the three methods of solving simultaneous equation which are elimination method substitution method and graphical method in this video we're going to concentrate only on graphical method check out the description and the playlist for elimination method and substitution method videos here we can use elimination method or substitution method but our aim in this video is to learn how to use graphical method to solve this problem first step here is to separate equation 1 and equation 2 next we are going to make y the subject for both equations here i will say y is 1 minus 2x and for this i will leave 3x here i will move this minus 6y across and i will have plus 6y i will move this 24 across i will have minus 24. likewise i can have that 6y is 3x minus 24. i want to make y the subject so i will have that y is 3x minus 24 divide by 6. the next step is we are going to choose range of integers let me choose between minus 2 and 2 also i will choose between minus 2 and 2 you can choose between minus 5 and 5 minus 3 and 3 or even from 0 however at the end of the day we are going to extrapolate the line to cover other range of integers next we're going to draw a table for both equations and we're going to consider the range of value we are considering here between minus 2 and 2 likewise i will do the same for the other table next i will consider the first equation i will put minus 2 for x so that i will have minus 2 will multiply 3 and i will get minus 6 minus 6 minus 24 i will have minus 30 minus 30 divided by 6 i will have minus 5 next for x equals minus 1 here i will have minus 4.5 next for x equals 0, I will have minus 4. Next, for x equals 1, I'm going to have minus 3.5. Next, for x equals 2, my y is minus 3. I'm done with table 1. Next, I will consider table 2. For table 2, if I put minus 2 for x that is 1 minus 2 in bracket i'm putting this minus 2 hence i'll have 1 minus times minus is plus 4 and i'll end up having 5 that's how we got this 5 next for x equals minus 1 into this equation i will get 3 next for s equals 0 here, 2 times 0 is 0 and I'm left with 1. Next, if I put 1 here, I will have 1 minus 2, I will have minus 1. Next, if I put 2 here, I'm going to have 2 times 2 is 4. 1 minus 4 will give you minus 3. Now, our table 1 and table 2 is completed. Next we need a graph paper to complete this solution next we need a graph paper to plot our table and from the graph we are going to trace for the value of our x and for our y let's assume that this is our graph and we plot table one for example to have this and we plot for 
our second equation probably to be this however i'm just giving an example this is not a graph for this if this is the point of intersection we're going to trace our point to determine our x and we're going to trace this point to determine our y if you substitute the value of your x and y if you actually plot correctly you are going to get 24 and 1. remember this is just an example your graph won't look like this for this plotting to plot the graph let's consider table 1 from equation 1 when x is minus 2 which is minus 2 on the x axis y is minus 5 on the y axis to trace both lines this will be our point next when x is minus 1 which is this point y is minus 4.5 which is here if you trace both lines this is the meeting point next when x is 0 y is minus 4 that is when x is 0 y is now minus 4 next when x is 1 y is minus 3.5 and both lines meet here next when x is 2 y is minus 3 and both meet here next with a ruler draw a straight line to join all the points this is the straight line graph for table 1 from equation 1 next let's consider table 2 for equation 2 still on the same graph when x is minus 2 y is 5 both meet at this point next when x is minus 1 y is 3 both we meet at this point next when x is 0 y is 1 and this will be the point next when x is 1 y is minus 1 and this is the meeting point next when x is 2 y is minus 3 and here we have a superimposition point which is just a coincidence and our next point is here next with a long ruler we are going to join all the points this is a straight line graph for table 2 from equation 2 next consider the point where the two lines met the two lines crossed each other at this point next from that point trace a line to the x axis and to the y axis respectively on the x axis our answer is 2 and for the y trace on the y axis our answer is minus 3 and this is the answer for the simultaneous equation in this problem we can use substitution method however the aim in this video is to actually learn graphical method for quadratic functions or equation of a circle we can only apply substitution method or graphical method to apply graphical method we're going to separate the two equations next we're going to choose some range of values here i might decide to choose from let me say minus one to three then here i might repeat the same thing from minus one to three next we're going to draw a table for the two equations and we're going to consider the range of our choosing integers next let's consider the first table y is for x i will have minus 1 squared minus 3 for x i will have minus 1 then plus 4 minus 1 squared is 1 
minus 1 times minus is plus and 3 times 1 is 3 plus 4 you see 1 plus 3 is 4 4 plus 4 is 8 next we are going to input 0 into the equation and if we change this to 0 we are going to end up getting 4 so here we have 4 for x equals 1 here we are going to get 2 if you put 2 here for s equals 2 you are going to get 2 lastly if you put 3 here you are going to get 4 we are done with table 1 next let's consider table 2 here y is x plus 1 we are going to input that y is minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 is 0 so here i will have 0 next i will consider 0 y is 0 plus 1 and i will have 1 here my answer is 1 next i will consider that y is 1 plus 1 which is 2 here my answer is 2 next if you put 2 here 2 plus 1 is 3 if you put 3 here 3 plus 1 is 4 now we have filled our table next we're going to need a graph to plot the tables the both tables will be plotted on the same graph for example if this is going to be our graph this is a quadratic function and here is a positive it means our graph will go like this this is just an example also this is a linear equation hence we are going to have a straight line the straight line cuts the curve on two points you are going to trace the first point to the x axis to get x1 and you trace it to the y axis to get y1 next you are going to trace this to the x axis to get x2 and you are going to trace this to the y axis to get y2 if you do this correctly you are going to get four answers for x1 y1 x2 and y2 because there is a quadratic function in the simultaneous equation to find the values for the simultaneous equation let's plot the graph firstly let's consider table one which is the quadratic equation from equation one when x is minus one y is eight the two points meet here next when x is zero y is four and here is our point next when x is one y is two and here is the meeting point next when x is 2, y is also 2. Hence, this is the meeting point. Next, when x is 3, y is 4. Hence, this is the meeting point. Extend the table to when x is 4, we are going to get that y is 8. Table 1 of equation 1 is a quadratic equation. Hence, we're going to have a quadratic curve, which is a parabola. Now, we have a quadratic curve, which is a parabola. Next, let's consider table 2, which is a linear equation. When x is minus 1, y is 0. When x is 0, y is 1. Next, when x is 1, y is is 2. Here, there is a coincidence on this point with table 1. Next, when x is 2, y is 3. And this is the meeting point. Next, when x is 3, y is 4. Another coincidence with table 1. Next, since table 2 
is a linear equation. We are going to use a ruler to join all the points with a straight line. Next, the two points where the straight line cuts the quadratic curve becomes the solution to the simultaneous equation. For the first point, we are going to trace it down to the x axis and you can see that this becomes our x1. We are also going to trace it to the y axis and this becomes our y1. Subsequently, for the second point, we are going to trace it down to the x axis and this becomes our x2. Likewise, we are going to trace this to the y axis and this becomes our y2. After considering where the straight line cuts the curve, this becomes the solution to the simultaneous equation. We have four answers because there is an existing quadratic equation in equation 1, which is from table 1. If this video was helpful, please click the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you in the next video lesson.